Hi, it's Miss Camco. I'm in the woods with my friends. Say hi. Sup? <laughs> and Robin. It's okay. <laughs> you can't see Danielle, but she's actually like all the way over there with my phone. And she's trying to find the geocache. And right now we're kind of stuck because if you look at the ground, um, there's pathways, but it's like very, very hard to walk through. Whereas over here, the pathways were a little bit clearer and easier to get through. Day two of geocaching. It's exciting. I mean, it was right there, but I didn't see any boxes. Hi, Danielle. Wow, this is like really hard to walk through. Oh my gosh, I'm itchy. So we found it, and it looks like this. A duct tape box. I can't even, okay. Ooh, no, it's water damage. What's the oldest one? Replacement, July 15th, 2017. Oh, so it's been here for two years, just the replacement. Crazy. And then the last person here was May 23rd, 2020. Look at this stuff. So let's what actually is this use car? a marker. Good idea. Oh, it's like one of those stress ball things. Yeah, the wheels. It seems come like out. it. June 28, 2020. I just want to Yay. Yay. You want what? Oh. Look at this massive inside of a tree. Oh, I see it. Lightning tree. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a quick recap because I <laughs> didn't end up getting to film. But basically, we went to a couple geocaches today. The first one we were successful with, it is one of the ones that we had tried to do when we went geocaching with Jericho and we were unable to do and we didn't really wanna go in then. We revisited that one today and we were actually able to find it, which was crazy because it was so deep into this forestry area that there was bugs everywhere. I don't know, it was just like a time. But we found it, which is great. Can someone go on that bridge? Oh, it smells super bad. <gasps> Derek, faster, it's stinky. <laughs> <laughs> and then the second one we went to we were unable to find i really wanted to find this one because it's like a poke cache one and like someone made it like pokemon themed which is cute but we weren't able to find it so we gave up on it we looked everywhere it just was not there in such awe because we're seeing some of the like prettiest views while we're on this geocache and like look at this if it doesn't focus on me look at this I've never been to this place before and it's actually super super cool it's called the James Allen garden I thought it was just like a regular like garden but this place actually has like walking trails through gardens and like art art made out of flowers and stuff and it's really really awesome so let's see what else we can find this is the correct direction oh my God, it's so cool. I mean, left that's the perfect bench we should sit there do you want to read the thing um, yeah that bench what? though description? yep Property purchased in 1925 by the city of Toronto has been operated by its park department since. The cache is located four feet up from the base of the wall. Okay. In a small two by two inch hole and between three to four feet from a tree. There's some weird things. I think this is abandoned. It looks like it. Yeah. Let's get out of here. It kind of feels like feels the X-Men house. <laughs> What about that one right there? What? Like right 
there's like a actually I, you know what I can't even speak I don't have a very good view from this side I thought I saw a piece of paper, but it's just rock. Is it a moving rock? Because the hint was rock. So maybe you, you gotta to move a rock. rock. Yeah. You having fun? So cool! I'm killing it. Yeah, you are. <laughs> What's in it? What is it? Just a note? That was interesting because the geocache was actually like a fake rock that you could actually open and it had like the log in there which was super cool. So we found that one. So this is where we're gonna go next. And I can't make this small. Kind of looks scary but kind of cool too. Look, this is what it looks like. That's pretty cool. Kind of looks like a murder house. Yeah. The best kind of house. Let's go. <laughs> so we apparently have to follow this path to get up to see the creepy place. There's Derek. Honestly, I feel like this is like fairly dangerous and I'm kind of scared a little bit. I uh, yeah, I'm having a hard time. Nope, I'm fine. I don't even know what the hell this is even. These are the tra train tracks. Like I don't know if this is allowed. But this is really freaking cool. Derek thinks he found it. I got my shoes muddy for no reason. No, it's, it was all part of the process. I mean, we had to learn how to get down. Process. No, it's not. It's all part of the process. Where is Hi. it? Hi. So you see, you see, like a white ground across the fence with like a little wooden like scaffolding thing there. It looks like it might be a little house. Yeah, I think it might be in there. Oh, think it might be there. I think we found it. So the story behind this geocache is it's actually a train, if I understood it correctly, but you can see like gears and stuff. It's pretty cool. Looks very run down. And this is what it looks like inside. fourth one was the one we just went to now which actually had like an abandoned structure of what the old trains like what the old I don't know if it was the goat trains but it was what the old trains were like in the 50s and 60s and like just behind it as you saw in the clips pretty sure we weren't actually allowed to be there but it was kind of like this open field where you could see the railway rail the railway or the railroad um, and in the distance you could actually see the CN Tower which was super cool and I didn't even know that that was there and it was really really awesome to be able to see that in person I went nowhere near the tracks because that's dangerous and it was probably already dangerous that we were there it's definitely a different vibe when you're with more people today we were four people and I almost felt like one person acts as a navigator, the second person acts as like a, a lead who will actually like go into the forestry areas first and then the other person kind of just acts as like another pair of eyes whereas the fourth person kind of just is there, you know what I mean? Like it's another pair of eyes too but like 
I think four is probably the maximum amount of people I would geocache with, only because to get into these areas is very tight, it's very small, there's not a lot of space, and you like kind of start to feel a little bit claustrophobic despite being out in the open. So that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're practicing safe social distancing, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you.